Good day, classmate. I'm Reginald, and I'm going to present the hazardous waste in this classification by Engineer Albert Evangelista. But first, let's understand the legal framework that governs it. The legal framework governing toxic substances, hazardous, and nuclear wastes in the Philippines began with the creation of Republic Act 6969. Enacted on October 26, 1990, this act aims to regulate and control the management of these substances, imposing penalties for violations, and addressing various related concerns. Supplementary to this act are subsequent administrative orders issued to further refine regulations and ensure effective implementation. Administrative Order Number 29, issued on July 6, 1992, sets guidelines for the proper handling and management of hazardous waste. This was followed by DENR Administrative Order Number 36, issued on August 31, 2004, which focuses on the designation of initial disposal sites for hazardous waste. Lastly, the revised DENR Administrative Order 2013-22, dated on December 4, 2013, introduces updated protocols and procedures for the management and disposal of hazardous wastes, reflecting evolving environmental standards and best practices. These orders collectively strengthen the regulatory framework for the safe handling and disposal of toxic substances in hazardous wastes in the Philippines. Hazardous substances are long-term environmental hazard, including chronic toxicity upon repeated exposure, carcinogenicity, Resistance to the toxification process such as biodegradation, the potential to pollute underground or surface water, or statically objectionable properties such as offensive odor. The AO 2013-22 says that short-term acute hazards such as acute toxicity by ingestion, inhalation, or skin absorption, corrosivity or other skin or eye contact hazard, or there is a fire or explosion. When it comes to hazardous waste, DAO 2013-22 says that substances that are without any safe commercial, industrial, agricultural, or economic usage and are shipped, transported, or brought from another country of origin for dumping or disposal into or in transit through any parts of the territory of the Philippines. The products, side products, processed residues, spent reaction media, contaminated plant, or equipment or other substances for manufacturing operations and as consumer discards of manufactured products which present unreasonable risk and or injury to health and safety to the people or to the environment. The major category of hazardous waste Characteristic waste Characteristic hazardous waste are materials that are known or tested to exhibit one or more of the following four hazardous traits Initability Reactivity Corrosivity and toxicity. Listed waste materials are specifically listed by regulatory authorities as hazardous waste, which are from non specific sources, specific sources, or discarded chemical products. Ignitability. Ignitable are substances which can create fire under certain conditions, including but not limited to the following liquids such as solvents that readily catch fire and friction-sensitive substances. Reactivity Reactive are defined as substances that are unstable under normal conditions and readily undergo violent change without detonating. React violently with water and create spontaneously explosive mixtures like toxic gases, vapors or fumes are capable of detonating. Corrosivity Corrosive substances, whether liquid or solid that causes visible destruction, or irreversible alterations in the human skin tissue at the site of the contact, or a liquid that has a severe corrosion rate on steel or aluminum. Toxicity Toxic are substances which when inhaled or injected, or if it penetrates the skin may involve acute or chronic health risk, including carcinogenicity, mutagenicity, or teratogenicity on human or other forms of life. Classification of hazardous waste the ANR Administrative Order 2013-22 revised procedures that are standards for the management of hazardous waste, revising the AO 2004-36, first one to Republic Act 6969, Toxic Substances and Hazardous and Nuclear Waste Control Act of 1990. First is the waste with cyanide. Waste containing cyanide with concentration of 70 mg or a liter in liquid waste. Its waste number is A. 101. The second is the acid waste. Sulfuric so acid with pH 2.0. Waste number B201. 
hydrochloric acid with pH 2.0. Waste number, VTO2. Nitric acid with pH 2.0. Waste number, VTO3. Phosphoric acid with pH 2.0. Waste number, V2O4. Hydrofluoric acid, 2.0. Waste number, V2O5. Mixture of sulfuric and hydrochloric acid with pH 2.0. Waste number, V2O6. Other inorganic acid with pH 2.0. Waste number, V2O7. Organic acid with pH 2.0. Waste number, V2O8. Acid waste other than V2O1 to V2O8 with pH 2.0. Waste number, B299. The next is the alkali waste. Caustic soda, NaOH with pH 12.5. Waste number, C301. Potash, KOH with pH 12.5. Waste number, C302. Alkaline cleaners with pH 12.5. Waste number, C303. Ammonium hydroxide with pH 12.5. Waste number C304. Lime slurs with pH 12.5. Waste number C305. Alkali waste other than C301 to C305 with pH 12.5. Waste number C399. Now we're heading to waste with organic chemicals. Selenium and its compounds. 1 mg or liter. Waste number D401. Arsenic and its compounds, 1 mg or liter. Waste number, D402. Barium and its compounds, 70 mg or a liter. Waste number, D403. Cadmium and its compounds, 0.3 mg or a liter. Waste number, D404. Chromium compounds, 5 mg or a liter. D405. Lead compounds. 1 mg or liter D406 Mercury and mercury compounds 1 mg or liter D407 Fluoride and its compounds 100 mg or liter D408 Other waste with inorganic chemicals Antimony Beryllium Tellurium Thallium Metal carbonyls Hexavalent chromium compounds, copper compounds, and zinc compounds. Waste number D499. Reactive chemical waste. A cyanide or sulfide. Bearing waste, which when exposed to pH conditions between 2 and 12.5, can generate toxic gases, vapors, and fumes in quantity that poses a danger to human health. Waste number E501. Producing agents. A cyanide or sulfide bearing waste, which when exposed to pH conditions between 2 and 12.5, generate toxic gases, vapors, and fumes in a quantity that poses a danger to human health. Waste number E502 Explosive and unstable chemicals Includes all wastes that are capable of detonation. Our explosive reaction when subject to a strong initiating source, or when heated under confinement, or two. Capable of detonation or explosive decomposition, the temperature of 20 Celsius degrees and pressure of 1 atm. Waste number E503. Highly reactive chemicals. Include all other wastes that exhibit any properties described for D501, D502, and D503. Waste number D599. The next one is for inks, dyes, pigments, paints, resins, latex, adhesives and organic sludge. Solvent-based waste. Include all solvent-based waste that also meet one or more of the subcategories. Waste number F601. Inorganic pigments. Includes all wastewater treatment sludge from the production of inorganic pigments. Waste number F602. Ink formulation. Includes all solvent washings and sludge, caustic washings and sludge, from cleaning or tubs and equipment used in the formulation of ink pigments, dryers, soaps, stabilizers containing chromium lead. Waste number F603. Resinous materials 
waste resins generated, but not limited to water purification processes. Waste number F604. Other mixture with above constituents other than aqueous. Waste number F699. Waste organic solvents. Halogenated organic solvents includes but not limited to the following spentalogenated solvents as well as those listed in the priority chemical list. Waste number G703. Non halogenated organic solvents includes but not limited to the following spentalogenated solvents as well as those listed in the priority chemical list or PCM. Waste number G704. Organic waste. Grease waste includes grease waste generated from establishments such as industrial, commercial, and institutional facilities. Waste number H802. The next one is oil. Used industrial oil, including sludge. Waste number I101. Vegetable oil, including sludge. Waste number I-102 Tallow Waste number I-102 Oil contaminated materials Waste number I-104 Now let's head to containers Containers that use to hold the hazardous waste and toxic chemical substances Containers that use to contain polychlorinated bipinyl or PCB are categorized as L-404 and excluded from this subcategory Waste number J201. The next one is stabilized waste. Solidified waste. Waste those hazardous substances are physically immobilized by consolidation to reduce the surface area of the waste in order to meet the waste acceptance criteria of the disposal facility. Waste number K201. Chemically fixed and polymerized waste. Hazardous substances that are physically immobilized through chemical bonds and immobile matrix or chemical conversion to meet the waste acceptance criteria of the disposal facility. Waste number K302. Encapsulated waste. Waste those hazardous substances that are physically immobilized by enveloping the waste in non-porous impermeable material in order to store or dispose of hazardous waste in the registered disposal facility. Waste number K303. Now let's head to organic chemicals. Waste with specific halogenated toxic organic chemicals. Waste number L401. Waste with specific non halogenated toxic organic chemicals. Waste number L402. Ozone depleting substances or ODS. Waste number L403. Polychlorinated bifenol or PCB waste. Waste number L404. Lastly is the miscellaneous waste. Pathological infectious waste, waste number M501. Asbestos waste, waste number M502. Expired pharmaceuticals and drugs, waste number M503. Waste pesticides other than M505, M504. Persistent organic pollutants waste, M505. Waste electrical and electronic equipment. WEEE -E -E. include all waste electrical and electronic equipment that contain hazardous components such as lead, cadmium, mercury, hexavalent, chromium, polybrominitate, bipenols or PVBs, and polybrominitate diphenol. Waste number M506. Special waste household hazardous waste such as paints. Thinners, household batteries, lead acid batteries, spray canisters, and the likes. Waste number M507. Exempted waste. Household waste such as garbage under RA 9003. Exempt special waste. Industrial and commercial wastewaters which are disposed of on site through the sewage system. Industrial and commercial solid waste which do not contain hazardous waste. 
Material from building demolition, except those containing asbestos, septic tank, effluents, and associated solids waste waters, untreated spools for mining, quarrying, and excavation works, but not materials in the nature of dailies, commercially treated materials and mine facility consumables.